YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. I'm back with another good video, fellas. I've been sick for about a week now. And I just got back from holiday and I'm sick and it's not COVID. You know, I've done the test and it was negative, but I've been sick, but I know my subscribers need me and I know my YouTube family needs me and the content must go on, fellas. Being street smart is a form of game. And that's, that's real, that's for real. Being street smart is a form of game. And I've told you in the past, game isn't necessarily man gets woman or man talks to woman. That's not always game. You know, I've said in the past, game, it helps you navigate from point A to point B. Game is survival. It can help you. Game can be the difference between you seeing tomorrow or not seeing tomorrow. That's game. Uh, for example, I'm going to give you an example. One thing I do uh, is something that I'm just used to doing and I do all the time. Whenever I've driven somewhere or I've driven home and I park my car, the first thing I do before I step out of my car is check my mirrors. Check my door mirrors and make sure there's no one lurking around. There's no one hiding somewhere waiting for you to come out of your car. And that's game because you never know anything can happen to anyone at any given time. So just being aware, checking my car mirrors before I come out, making sure no one is hiding around, lurking around is a form of game. And some of my subscribers, some of you might live in the suburbs, some of you might live in nicer parts of the UK or even in America. I have a lot of American subscribers. You might live in the suburbs, but you never know. Just because you live in the suburbs doesn't entirely mean you're safe. So little things like that, like checking your mirrors before you come out of your car, that's, that's game. That's survival tactics because is live or die out here. It's survival of the fittest. Someone is trying to take what's yours and you never know. So just being aware. Uh, another thing I do is when I'm in an area I don't know, and sometimes even in areas I do know, I'm always watching my back because you never know. <laughs> Someone out there is looking to test you. Someone out there is looking to catch you lacking and that's just the reality. So for me, my peripherals are sharp. I can, I can look straight at the camera right now, but I'm aware of everything that's going on around me. That's game. You never know who's following you. You never know who's checking you out or who's looking at you. You never know who is out there to do something to you. So being aware, that's game. That's deep game right there. And that's the difference between you surviving today or not surviving today. Take it as it is. And if this video pauses here and there, it's probably because I'm coughing. You know, I'm still recovering, but well, what can I do? And another form of game, I'm just giving you guys game here is when I'm in certain parts or if I've entered a block of flats, the first thing I do is take out my AirPods and make sure I can hear everything going on in that black um, in that block of flats. Because you never know. So let's say I leave my AirPods in and there's someone waiting on the fourth floor for me. If my music is in, I'm not going to be able to hear that. And who knows, I could walk right into a setup, right into a trap. Someone pull out a gun on me on the fourth floor or pull out a knife on me and that could be the end of me right there. So, especially because in a block of flats, there's doors everywhere. You never know who's peeping at their door, just waiting. So for me, I have to take my AirPods out and make sure I don't hear nothing up the stairs when I'm walking into a block of flats. 
make sure someone isn't coming out of their door or isn't going into their door. Just being alert of my surroundings because that's survival instinct. And who knows, you can blame it on how I grew up because I, I grew up in South. I've lived in South London all my life. And shit, anything can happen to anyone at any moment. So just being street smart, that's game. And that's important. You know, another form of game is making sure you're not being played. And I know a lot of you don't have this type of game because a lot of you are getting played. I'll give you an example, right? When I was about, I think I was 19, 20 at the time, there was this woman I was talking to. I think she was about 28, 29, around that time. I don't really remember. Yeah, I just had to cough then. So uh, I don't know how we met. I don't remember how we met, but long story short, me and her, we discussed over text a few times and we finally decided to meet each other. Now, we've met each other now. We're at breakfast. I thought I was looking fly. I thought I was looking smooth. And at the breakfast now, she ordered what she wanted. I ordered what I wanted. And usually when I go out somewhere on a date, breakfast, I usually pay. I don't have an issue paying for both of us. It's not a problem. But she's ordered, I've ordered, I've paid the bill now. We're having breakfast. And I knew just from, just, just from game, from being smart, that okay, she's not feeling me. That's cool. You know, sometimes a woman's not always feeling you. You have to raise her interest level. I understood that. Okay, at a young age, I understood that. So I'm trying to raise the interest level. She's not feeling it. And I know she wasn't feeling it. That's cool. I, I don't have a problem with that because there's options. But nonetheless, I'm cool with that. So came now, we're talking and I'm trying to escalate stuff and see where it could go. And she goes, mm -mm, nah, I'm not interested in that with you, but breakfast, this is nice. We can do this every week. I would love to do this every week, but in terms of dating you, I'm not interested. <laughs> and I said to her, she's like, what do you think about that? Is that, is that cool? I said, nah, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in that. That's game. Because a lot of brothers, you know, a lot of people out there, even these uh, sugar daddies, they're getting with these girls, these people getting with these girls thinking, yeah, yeah, I've got this beautiful woman next to me, but this guy's bank account is getting rinsed. Pockets are getting finessed. But because they don't have game and because they're not street smart, they think, and you know what's funny about that? They, they're spending all this racks on these girls and they're not getting any pussy. They're not even smelling the pussy, not even smelling her pants, let alone getting the pussy. But that, that's game right there. But a lot of guys aren't aware of game. A lot of guys aren't street smart. And that's why, you know, some women mess with hood guys because the hood guy is clued up, understands the game. If you tell that to a hood guy, he's not with it. Because if you're not giving the, if she's not giving the pussy up, he wants no part of her. But you have these brothers spending racks, doing all of this because they're not street smart. This woman is rinsing their bank account, football players, athletes their, their bank accounts are getting rinsed and then once that money stops coming in she's out because the, the only interest there was the money so being street smart and understanding game also applies to knowing when you're getting played or knowing when you're about to get played there's no woman who can play me yeah <laughs> i'll tell you that now because i'm clued up because of my surroundings where i grew up I know the game. I know if you're trying to finesse me, before you finesse me, I will finesse you. I promise you that. That's game. And another form of game is, you know, not messing with certain women. 
doesn't link with the previous point but not messing with certain women you know, a lot of guys they want to be players and the player lifestyle is not for everybody i've already said that not every man wants to be a player you know and not every woman is a hoe not every woman wants the nine inch or the bad boy you know not everyone is a player but some guys think they're players and they mess with certain women and they break that woman's heart you know they mess with a woman and they don't treat her right and now she goes and tells her brother and now her brother's on to you you know that's street smart you know knowing you can't mess with certain women and even if you are going to mess with her if you're dumb enough to mess with her if you're going to end it end it on a casual level or do it in a way where she thinks she's ending it but really and truly you were planning to be out a long time ago because there's some women out there you mess with them you break their heart you tr think you're finessing them and they've got an older brother who is ready to put a knife in your neck ready to put a bullet to the back of your head and that's game right there so being a street smart is a form of game because it's survival it's a doggy dog world out there people are looking to take what's yours people are looking to finesse you and you have to be aware of this so game is just survival you know moving from point a to point b and that's just form of game i don't want to make this video any longer than it needs to be like comment subscribe hit me up in the dm fellas i'm out